Hi everybody, I'm just back from Chicago. This week was for damn she. So this is the third event of the year after New York and Europe in London. So it was on Tuesday, one day, uh, very well organized. So we're, as usual, thanks to our Dan team. Um, especially we had two um, nice study cases. One was from Coca-Cola with uh, Michael Women and about the by Coca-Cola how to manage rights to enable reuse the assets and one other with Diana Kev from Hilton and especially we have uh, 14 dams and how finally to organize the content in just one place. So as usual this is really the right place to meet consultants, uh, uh, customers, vendors. This is the dam community, the dam experts community. So uh, great day. We also are, of course had the Bake Off. Unfortunately here I'm not the winner this year. Uh, this uh, in Chicago or after New York so or, but at least um, I will say um, it's always good for the dam community so this this time um, to or, to see the products in in, in real time um, on my side I will say that I, I think I'm performing and perhaps even better than New York and especially the jury said that um, it was it was very well done it was fast and as you know that one of the items of the Ch Dam Chico is uh, about the Dam engine from keynote of Teresa. And so um, I, I do believe it was it was the right way, but of course sometimes um, people uh, like to uh, to vote for another solution. So Accenture wins. Accenture is, is really more um, driven by MPIM, so you can link links between assets. Uh, and Media Beacon also was there. Uh, they made also a good demo. Uh, so, but uh, at the end, uh, at the end of the day, in fact, uh, I believe uh, I perform well and uh, really damn some tricks. Uh, and in fact, as you can see uh, in the video, just following uh, my uh, my words, uh, I was able really to cover any all the items uh, of the demo from video images, uh, publishing, uh, online editing with uh, with InDesign. Uh, and Chile here using the plugin from Silicon Publishing. So, and also because I really do believe, and you know where I'm coming from the um, from the customer side, this is the best way. So you don't, don't have to spend half a billion to uh, to get the solution and in a, and to be and to be deployed in a less uh, just in a couple of months. So uh, thanks to all our visitors. So uh, we had some great leads um, in Chicago. And so great events, and so just now you get so the uh, the opportunity just in uh, in about ten minutes because this is the time for of a bake off, and I redo the demonstration for you. You have also a published a, a t video teaser, where you can get uh, in a couple of minutes some sneak peeks of what's the time she. And so thank you to our, all of us for me, for Dalim, and so just I would just tell you that I will be here again in LA, new backups or new challenges. And so hope to see you all and just follow me and, and Dalim Software um, up to the next event. Bye bye. So hi everybody. So uh, I know that a couple of you told me Okay, you make a great demo. Is it possible to uh, to get in touch with a video or to share with my teammates, teamwork? So uh, I will take the time. Um, you know, the backup is ten minutes, but perhaps I will do more uh, just to our highlights and to get really some really great time with you. Uh, the backup is or uh, this is uh, the purpose. Or it was a slide, so you have ten minutes. You have six main tags: ingesting assets. Um, searching metadata, of course, uh, advert of, of a dam, uh, rendering, transform the assets, uh, related assets, preview assets, and so on. And so, this is what we have to do. Three main competitors this year in Chicago, Media Beacon, Censure, and so uh, and Dalim Software. So, unfortunately, I'm not winner, as I told you. But you will see, and especially because I like the jury feedback, uh, the jury said it was a very great demo, uh, very fast. And I, I do believe, of course, at the end of the day, what we hear, uh, the most important is for the damn community. So it's important for uh, all the attendees to, or to show things in live. And I will say it would be even better to get more vendors. 
and so uh, <clears throat> at that time, so uh, essentially one year of the battle, but um, uh, I think uh, as you can see here, uh, I think we had some very great stuff, and especially uh, we just released the S55. Uh, I will be here um, in Labet Explorer in two weeks, or if you are not so far from Brussels, you can be in touch with us and myself and try to uh, to show even more interesting stuff. So, uh, for your information, we have so uh, we made a dedicated website where you can find uh, everything we made uh, in terms of marketing. Uh, you can see here uh, all the uh, all the stuff we are. We're about to uh, to, to sure, so uh, very uh, very great stuff. And so, uh, if you want to uh, get in touch with them or to get in contact, you can fill a form and get everything. Uh, and we're very pleased to uh, to uh, to meet you during the show. So let's start with the demo. So this is our so my yes. Um, you can customize as you can see here the home page, which which is definitely uh, good because uh, at one time and some time, even if brands are more and more moving to uh, CMS, um, an enterprise system has to be also uh, able to to propose uh, a viewer or some customization in order to be the the brand portal. And so this is uh, what what I did there. So I'm logging into uh, into my system, and first thing is uh, I, on my uh, in, into my DAM I created a folder, which is a DAM sheet 2017 that I will use to manage all my assets that can be the, the asset of my campaign. So of course I know that some a uh, couple of people told me yeah you have a three navigations it looks like production or it's true it's true but at one time um, your dam is starting from production sign from designers and I can tell you really based on my experience uh, twenty years by agencies it's it's really the best where I know that now the marketing are moving to more CMS things but uh, it's it's not really the dam that the designers can work and. Uh, the good thing is, in fact, okay, I'm rock, I'm, I'm starting from that side, but you can see at the end when I publish the content that uh, yes, is also the marketing with so uh, great customization that you can do. So our first thing is to ingest the assets, and so uh, one of the main thing is yes, is able to monitor a file server. The reason why is that just imagine uh, as I did with some of my assets. So can view all the selection of my assets. It's, it's not really some small JPEG or GIFs uh, that sometimes a uh, competitor as you, or vendor is using, but very strong files, high definition. So I've got a TIFF here and a video and just have to drag and drop the assets. And so, of course, when you have uh, this kind of assets, it's definitely faster, as you can see. Just imagine the time just to upload this TIFF file on, on, on the web. Of course, it can it can work, but if you have thousand of them, good luck. So uh, and now what's happened now is in yes, um, the system is able to monitor these uh, these assets. So whatever the assets are, movies, teeth, images, and just you see the time just to get the uh, to process this uh, picture. If now if I double click on this picture. What you can see is dialog. Dialog is the soft proof viewer. This is the faster viewer on the market to be in touch with your assets. Because today, most of the time vendors, what they did, what they are doing is, if you want to be here to control assets, you have to download them. Okay, uh, just coming back. The only thing they can do is something like that. You see, just a like button. Do you think it's really enough to get in touch with your asset? I don't think so. So what happened at the end? People have to download the asset and to upload again, and upload again if you have to uh, to recharge your file. So with dialog, just in a couple of clicks, and you can see the right simulation based on the ICC profile, and just take a look to the definition. It's smooth, it's fast, and it just gorgeous. Have you ever seen that before? And so I can use then dialog to uh, simply. I will use. I've got a lot of tools there. So what I will do is okay. I just miss my. Uh, I can draw around there. Then I can post. Uh, I can add annotation. 
check color or whatever. Okay, so I can mark up my files. If I want, I can also hide them. Okay, and but you can see it's really, really great. It's fast and it's really what you see is what you get, the same as you can using Photoshop. Okay, the first thing uh, I've got here the video. So a very nice viewer video, so you can play video, you can play full screen. Okay, so you can uh, you can also mark up the files. Okay, and so as for example here, what I will do is I'd like to add the best shot ever from Roger. Okay, so I can mark up the files. Very great. So and of course we are able to uh, transcode the files, video. Uh, we are managing the metadata at the top. Anything you want. So now I will add some other assets. So um, I will take. I will come back to my selections there. So I've got uh, PowerPoints. I've got some JPEG files, PDF. I got 3D. Uh, some other PDF there. Okay, and just drag and drop. I can add some metadata at the top, so it can be it can be driven by your MI system, but you can also add them uh, on the fly. So for the MC, and all this information can be saved into a file. So just now to upload them. Okay. So first thing is the three D file. Um, of course. Uh, a couple of people told me, do you really think 3D has to be part of the DAM? But I think, I do believe that DAM has to be close to your uh, customer expectations. And 3D, especially in packaging, can tell you it's one more thing. Very, very great. So what I can do, uh, I can add a node there and say, OK, can you add the logo? Okay. And in yes, what we can do, we're able to manage revisions. So I will be back to my second revision that has been prepared, uploading again, and get a revision of my assets. So if I double click there, it's not yet done. So just taking the time. Uh, I think I made a mistake. I just have to upload the 3D files and not the feature, which is there. Okay. Upload again. Okay, and so now I can view the revision of my 3D files. So it looks like that the logo is the right way. And of course, I can compare. Okay, which is pretty cool. And I can even compare using this uh, square. Very great. So it's okay for the 3D files. Um, so for our pictures, this is the same. So here, this is the first revision of my assets. And here, I like to say, I like to add some test. Okay. And so I've got. I just put the revision, if I keep what my 3D files, so now I can check, I got the second revision, and I can compare both of the revisions. That's great, okay, as you can see. So that's very really great tool. Dialog is very really great tool for uh, whatever your photo studio or agencies. Don't spend your money buying a license of Photoshop just to control your files, okay? So here I've got some of our assets now available. So as for example, this is the, uh, a, a keynote, so a presentation PowerPoint, but you can use Word, Excel, so you can uh, use, uh, organize your uh, office documents into yes. You can do all the slides that have been rendered, as you can see, so you can mark up. That's cool. Um, the other thing is the, the PDF. So of course you can control PDF. Okay, that's great too. And you can annotate them, so, uh, which is something cool. I will get some text there, here, as for example. So, so you can select the text, and as you can see, we're able to extract the text. Okay, so you can copy paste or the text from a word or whatever, and you can check the differences. 
But one thing which is even more uh, great is you can get a viewer as a flipbook, just like this. And this is a great user experience, even better, and it works so well on the iPad, so we have different ways, so we have a film strip there, okay, so you can change the simulation also, you can, this one is just using the slide, which is more used on the air. Now, this is a flipbook, and the other one was the slide, you can also mark up the files, and at the end you can publish your Facebook on your website. So uh, I think I did it. So uh, yes, this is one. So as you can see, this it has been published on my website. And I've got a couple of tools as for example I can search. And of course something you like is uh, not engine, it's engine. Yes. And so I can view that here. We can be in touch with your uh, with the world, so very very great experience at that stage. Um, the other things also, yes, I wasn't uh, about dialogue, which is something which is cool is also oops, is this one. So dialogue is also working great also on the iPad, so you can touch it or you can uh, pinch your uh, screen, you can draw, you can uh, mark up your files. Very very great. Okay, um, uh, for the other sets here. Uh, so the next step is all about also the, uh, the metadata. So if I take, as for example, this one, as you can see, we have some keywords. This, uh, this feature doesn't have any IPT settings. So, and thanks to the deep learning, ready into ES55, you can get some nice uh, keywords or without. Uh, just automatically and of course you can search for I've got another example where here uh, you can you can view uh, all the IPTC and also the deep learning keywords okay you can also assign a taxonomy so for that picture uh, this is people and the IP my pictures coming from Facebook I can okay and of course Search means that now you can search for it. So I can search for can. I've got a couple of assets and I can make uh, selections thanks to the taxonomy and that you can manage really, that you can customize at the top of your DAM. Uh, we have so many filters. We have facets, so you can just, uh, uh, just the picture coming from that photograph, so I just have two, or coming from my D4S, okay, so, and everything is customizable at that stage, you can also use the color of the similarity, so a lot of things, and at the end you can save your search uh, as a collection, okay, so very great. Okay, so coming back there, what I can also do is I can get some action, that's for example for that picture, what I would like to do is I'd like to resize the picture and to get the teeth. Okay, so that's something you can do, or you can also make a selection of assets. And I'd like to get a uh, uh, contact it. And at the end of the day, I can tell you by agent is that's something which is pretty useful. So if I'm now looking at, I can view the, my picture that is cropped and teeth, and I can view. My spreadsheet, which is a PDF. Okay. So, and uh, so we can more or less on the graphics side do everything you want. So I'm can just coming back to my folder there. Uh, we also have some great connectors with our the Adobe Suites thanks to our partnership of Silicon. Silicon is one of the top to provide connectors to your to your dam you have a lot of dams or but we have i think one of the best because uh, es is able to manage revision check in check out uh projects uh whatever and the the um so the the plugins we have is is really capable and i stay so i create a new um document into your in design so I will save this document as demo dam here, as for example. Okay, so I can view all. I get access to all my content. Uh, I can search, and if I'm going to my folder, 
I can view all my assets. So what I have to do, I just want to place here one of my pictures. Okay. So just oops to fit in the box and now I can save and I can export my InDesign document into yes. And if I'm going back to my dam, I can view so my InDesign documents. And what you can also view is I can view all the asset links and not only the assets that you have in your in your document, but all the the all the links of the same assets. And uh, of course, what I need to do, I can manage revisions with the design. So I just have to place some placeholder text here. Okay. And I can upload them. Upload again my InDesign documents. So now my InDesign documents, I can compare revisions, which is great. So we can view the difference between the two revisions. Okay. So that's one thing, and of course, you can do exactly the same in Photoshop. So if I'm looking at my folder, if you want to change, you just have to drag and drop, and then you can retouch the files, upload the files, manage as a revision, because if, as for example, I'm looking to that asset, you can manage revisions uh, of the asset. You can check in, check out the files, or, or even from the system. So if I'm going back to, uh, to my folder, if I take this uh, picture, if I'm check out that asset, the asset is locked. And of course, if I'm going back here, uh, I can view that the asset is locked. So that's great thing. So it's not simply browsing uh, folders, assets, and such is even more the connector is really deep in the, in the ES features. Okay, um, back now to your, um, to my folder. One thing I miss perhaps to tell you is about the user experience because you know I'm very uh, tied to uh, this experience. So something you can do and you can get exactly the same experience as for example in our, in Lightroom phase one. So you can uh, scroll from one over to the other picture like this, so you can make a, an easy select reject, you can hide the film strip, or you can zoom in, you can compare with very great experience, and you can at least you can just display one, so it's, you can move very very fast from one to the other. This is a great experience that most of the marketing don't have today. Uh, okay, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing also you can do, uh, and especially because uh, when I'm talking about metadata, you can also set up this information at the top of your folder. And you can use the folder as a placeholder to drive some content, especially if you want to manage some uh, some connection with your uh, with an e-shop or a PM store. Um, if I will give you an example, as for example, I've got one project I did, uh, which was this one for a farmer. And uh, so I've got here a couple of assets, okay? And I can view all the information of that assets there, okay, with description, prices, and so on. If I'm back to InDesign here, what I can view is uh, thanks to our connection with our, uh, with Easy Catalog, I can drive all that content. So uh, this is I take the example of this uh, this product, okay. So just have to select the page, so it's OK, and then I just have to, uh, on the library, just drag and drop, OK? And so what you can see here, this is the product with all the uh, all the text. So coming from uh, from yes, so this is, uh, uh, this is that picture, which is somewhere, OK, this is this one, so all this description, now has been sent to InDesign, so I can do some corrections in InDesign and back to ES, so uh, this is really great. Uh, from the InDesign standpoint, what I can also do is I, I prepare another project here, which is uh, a flyer.
So I've got a folder. If I double click there, what's happened? In fact, in order to uh, to uh, edit online my InDesign documents, we have connection with uh, Chile, uh, which is uh, one of top of the online editing uh, solution. So I'm not displaying the view of Dylan, but just the view of my InDesign documents. So, and as for example, uh, so I'll just check some uh, here I've got some nice assets, so what I'd like to do first, I can edit the text. So I'd like to add oops, 2017. And of course, I need to, uh, uh, to change a bit uh, some of the pictures, so I just want to, to drag and drop here my, my pictures. Okay, I can resize them. And I can I like to add also this banner. Okay, so you know it's it's ready again to uh, personalize your content, and then you can save. And so now what's happened? So because it's part of a, of my workflow, if I approve the text. I will create uh, a PDF of that content. As you can see. Okay, so from InDesign to the PDF, I was able to personalize my content at the top of my dam. And as we are talking about workflows, uh, if I'm coming back to my folder, I can make a selection of my assets. And here, what I can do, I can start a project. Uh, not this one. I can start not a collection, but a project. So it's the dam sheet, 2017, in which I can involve some user. So I took mine, but I can also use, uh, it has to be an approver. I can use also some emails. Here. And what's happened there, if I'm coming by to uh, my projects, you can view that uh, I've got very simple dashboard. I just send a, a link and my user can approve all the content easily. And as soon as the content has been approved, the job is done. And so what's happened if I'm going by to my list of projects, what we are talking here is about approve some asset based on the workflow. This is the workflow. Okay, one more unique selling point at the top of ESDAM. Okay, um, it's important also at, at any time to uh, to be able to, uh, um, to to check the analytics. So we have also based on the elastic search, I can easily here get a look from all my from all my project all my customer and as for example to to be in touch and to measure the performance of my assets and i can export report from that uh, now in order to uh, publish the content um, what we can do is of course we can publish from es and use es as your main box instead of using public Cloud just Dropbox box, so you can use download or the view. The view it's one way to be in touch with the assets. You can set up a date and add some description and add some people. So the the other way to manage um, to man to manage some publication is in my workflow after approving the assets. What I did is I did some a selection of banners, of great banners of here of the. Of Chicago and especially this one and like here I'd like to uh, to add here a logo okay so now if I'm coming back to my website you can view that all the content of my folder is published on the website very very great so in order to uh, update the picture most what happened most of the time people have to 
go into the admin of WordPress and upload a revision or new feature, a new asset. So now from the DAM, the only thing I have to do is simply uploading the second revision of my banner, okay, which is this one. Just drag and drop, upload my banner. And my logo is now ready, so come back to the website, just need to empty the caches. And now if I'm just refreshing, I've got my uh, my logo ready. That's great. So and so I can manage remember the remember the PDF. I can on my WordPress manage the the flipbook and so on. So that's one way. The other things now to sure is to simplify and to get another user experience. So, uh, and especially for marketing people because they don't want to be in touch with your productions, as I'm saying at the beginning, with a tree navigation of folder. This is one example of what get you can do. Very easy. Uh, you just have some search, browse your asset, and another story. What you can do also is something like that, so even more simply why there where you can browse anything you want, where you can use, uh, you can drag and drop your assets at the top. Very, very, very easy. And so everything is available in uh, in ES at that stage. So more or less, I'm close to this, uh, to this demo. I hope so that you enjoyed. So, of course, if you need to, uh, to, to spend more time on one of your features, just be back to uh, just pop me an email, uh, and that will be a great pleasure to, uh, to show even more things. Um, of course, I will be here uh, for the next event uh, this year. Uh, RST World event is in LA, uh, more dedicated for video stuff. So, one new baker. So, of course, I'm waiting all of you to be in the right place at the right time and right I can tell you uh, I will figure out the challenge to, uh, to prepare you some great new things so thank you for your attention and see you later bye bye <laughs>